I had coffee for the first time today morning, so I don't know if I'm nervous or super excited. So, uh, Earlier this year, I was working with, a, with an 18-year-old girl called Kayla, who has cystic fibrosis, a chronic disease. One day, I entered Kayla's room, and I saw a quote by Henry David Thoreau that was boldly written on the window near the entrance door. The quote read, it is not what you look at that matters, it is what you see. I asked Kayla why she wrote that quote on her window. She said, people have different perspectives on what they see. Some people might walk here and see a bunch of sick kids like a drain on society, but someone else might come in here and see, like you, the potential that we have to create something better, create something unique, do something. Some people might see a broken, rundown house, and others may see their dream home that they can fix up. It is not what you look at that matters, it is what you see. For the past two years as a student at Vanderbilt University, I've been working with children who have chronic illnesses at a children's hospital in Nashville, Tennessee. I've introduced the first mobile maker spaces at the children's hospital, addressing the needs of chronically ill patients. The intent of these mobile maker spaces are to provide children with creative outlets and learning opportunities, but equally important to encourage social interchange with others and also improve patient health care by increasing physical mobility. I call this new patient learning experience as maker therapy. As I worked with children, I did not see a bunch of sick kids. I saw a bunch of really creative children. And as I worked with the children using the mobile maker spaces, I noticed that children's creations actually fell into four general categories, including room decorations, privacy maintaining devices, gadgets that depicted a patient's mood or state of well-being, and my favorite and most popular among children, contraptions intended to scare or prank adults, especially, <laughs> especially nurses. <laughs> so the research I'm undertaking has a long way to go. I strongly believe that the millions of children with chronic illnesses should not be deprived of the rapidly growing global maker movement. And as 18-year-old patient Kayla explained, we need to view children with chronic illnesses as more than just sick kids, but rather see a child with chronic illness as one who has the potential to make a positive impact on society. Thank you. Thank you, Gogo.